Hey guys, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Last time, after a couple of tries, we finished off the Battle of Barius. We took down the Bartimus, uh, Silvaria and Maximilian decided to retreat, and we heard about the Valkyria and a bit of their history. This time, we begin the Woodland Snare with a surprise attack. Let's see what this is about. Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Mm -hmm. Broken. We should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. Where does she get two minutes from? Where? Uh, uh, Woken? Oh, good. You're awake. Where are we? Is everyone all right? It looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Okay. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah, scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts, but you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Okay. So, that leaves us straight into combat. Escape from Forest Snare. Alicia, here's a map of the area. It looks like they've got us surrounded. You will only be two units out there, and your positions are predetermined. You must reach the destination to the north to escape the perimeter they've set up out there. Due to darkness, you'll be dealing with far more limited visibility than you're accustomed to. You'll see no line of sight for enemies more than a set distance away and be unable to see them in action mode. You also don't have access to the wireless communication equipment in your tank. Ugh. Meaning no orders. Be careful. Victory is Welkin and Alicia reach destination. Failure is Alicia dies, Welkin dies, or 20 turns pass. Alright. Ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. Okay. Now, I actually have a semi decent memory of this. Wow, it's really gotten dark. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance, so watch out. Ow! Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry, I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace, and I'll follow. Okay, so we cannot stay in that area. Does that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. 
If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. Okay. Moving out. <clears throat> so I need to move Alicia first. Which is what Welkin was hinting towards with like the you set the pace and I'll follow thing. It's a luciferin. It's bioluminescent. The same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferin feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. Or we could just, you know, plink off the enemy. Let's do that instead. Because <laughs> strangely enough, they're like spread out enough so that it's not an issue if you just kill one of them. Alright, and we move Alicia again. And then that puts her next to this flower. And then I think Welkin can heal her with this flower or something. Here we go. These leaves. Great. This is Ponicera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponicera growing nearby. Okay. Let's get Welkin as far forward as we can. How do? <clears throat> So the next mortifier is there. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? We shall get exploded. They'll radio our location to the mortars, and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. Alright. But, Welkin is speedy. Or rather, he doesn't have a sprained ankle. Hostile sighted. This could be interesting. This could be bad. So it's kind of close. Oh, that's... That's no bueno. Uh... It's 
thing is, I don't think Alicia can go around that way. Because of the whole, like, ankle thing. Just leave her here to be fair. And then just have Welkin um Here we go. Go a little bit ahead. <clears throat> yes. Let's see if he can't even maybe find some more. Ponisera. Oh, there's some actually. Right, so I've got to get Alicia over here. with second move I hope so be super awesome if I can can't beat the smell of fresh soil moving out <laughs> I mean I've definitely got to move her again the problem is that enough movement I guess I'm gonna find out oh yes naturally since we're uh, you know healing each other <clears throat> thank you Alright, so now Welkin can help Alicia a little bit more. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. Alright. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. Okay. So now, how do I feel? Yeah. There was a way to ah, there we go. Oh, 
dodgy. No, missed every single shot. And he did the opposite. Shit. I wonder what that means for, like, radioing positions. Looks like he's just going to go on his normal path. That seems weird. Okay, it must have been Skyrim theory, or oh, it was just the wind. Okay, it's all the way up there. Okay. Mm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Enemy unit spotted. Enemy unit spotted. Okay. Uh Do that, and then Welkin can finish off Mr. Immortal. Just about. Jesus H. Yes. Okay. And now Alicia can polish off the scout. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Now I'll cover you, Alicia. Damn, she was boosted. Landing there. I think Alicia has to go the long way around by the look of it. But Welkin can just, I don't know, pop through the trail, maybe. Run Alicia along and then uh, we can see if there's any Ponisseras around. Just to make her move faster. Okay, that's outside of the mortar. <coughs> Not by much, but it Here is. Running, 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 running. Oh, that doesn't even... Oh, wait, I think I missed the trail. Because I am the dum-dum. Ooh, there's some more Ponisera again. Ugh. The pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? Why? Are you hungry? Huh? No. I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. I've discovered a new oh, recipe. I see. 
Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. Uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods, and you're thinking of baking bread. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. All right, what's that spotlight? There it is. So, I have to get over there. And that's my leaves gone. Okay. That's fair enough. So, let's move Marker, Alicia okay. some more. Hmm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. So you're still limping, you're just limping for longer. Sure. So spotlight do. Okay. Oh, so close. Looks like I managed to sneak past all right. I wonder if Welkin's almost here. <sighs> I mean, do I need to avoid the spotlights at this point? Probably not. Ooh, that's... that's a bit mean. Here we go. Ah, gotta love nature. Yay! Phew. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. B rank, I guess I wasted a turn. From that guy, like, not dying from the grenade straight away. Um, probably those two guys in the woods as well. But Who whatever. The cottage way out here. Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welkin. This here is called aloe severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's... unexpected. <laughs> Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic, military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? 
My mom died as a casualty of the first European war. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. Whew. Rough. Okay. Well, let's end this one off here. And then next time we check out chapter 3. No, sorry. Episode 3 of chapter 8. Life. See you guys then.